Hi, we're in Daytona Beach Hangsters with today one of everyone's favorite cars, 1957 Ford Thunderbird. This one has one top on it, a convertible top, which is white. Obviously, we have it down now. Does not retain its original optional hard top. We have one top with this white convertible. But look at the car, the best color combination that you could have. Red, red with a white top. The car is in incredible condition. The paint on the car is absolutely beautiful. Chrome everywhere is really nice on the car. Um, bumpers, the, uh, the marker lights are nice on it. The grill is as it was when it was new. Thunderbird emblem across the front, very, very nice. A uh, little tiny, tiny bit of a ripple there, not hardly anything to... You're not going to even see it in the video, but there's a tiny little bit of a mark there. Fitment of the hood, as you can see, is just absolutely perfect the whole way around. The cowl area, both sides of the hood, and the front placement of the hood is absolutely fantastic. Lights are nice and clear. The basils around the lights match the rest of the car paint-wise. Great front end to this car. Really nice looking 57 T-Bird. Okay, down the driver's side of our 57 Thunderbird. You can see, well, the bumper fitment on these things wasn't anything to write home about way back when, but that's as good as we've got for 1957. Thunderbird designation with the fake louvers on the side. Standard hubcaps, not the Kelsey wheels on this particular vehicle. Trim around the uh, window is just as nice as you'd ever want to find. No marks, no dents or anything on it. Original arms and blades for the wipers. Vents on the 57. 56 and 57 had vents on them. 57. Little window uh, wing mirrors that help deflect some of the uh, air when the top's down. Front fender to the door fitment is absolutely beautiful. Condition of the uh, mirror on the driver's door is gorgeous. Chrome on the handle is really, really nice little tiny bit of patina. I can see it, but you can't feel it. So hardly anything there. Paint on this car is very nice. Very nice condition. Uh, the door to the rocker panel fitment is great. To the quarter panel was very, very, very nice. We'll do a video of this car inside so you'll see how nice the, the things are pointed uh, with the uh, interior and the original dashboard and gauges and everything. But the interior is really great in this car. It is an automatic transmission car. It does have a brand new white top, which you, you can see in the other uh, videos and the uh, uh, still pictures. Quarter panel on the car and the fender skirts. Nice as can be fitment wise. No marks. Although I'd like to see somebody put a door dent down that far. That would be a trick. But no marks on the uh, fender lip molding. Quarter panel the same way. It's really, really nice condition. The fins themselves are no marks or chips or anything on them. Laser straight down the driver's side of this car. You'll not find a straighter looking 57 T-Bird down the sides of the car. From this point, you can't even see gaps in the doors. It looks like it's a solid side. Really great fitment on this side of the car. Let's see if we can find something in the back. Okay, across the uh, back end of our 1957 Bird, just like the hood, you can see the rear deck, which is huge on this car. Uh, just fits as nice as could possibly be. Paint's nice the whole way across. No dents, no dings, no deviations in it. None whatsoever. Uh, Thunderbird logo on the back is nice. Uh, no pitting or anything on it. You know, the front bumper and the rear bumper on this car are probably the original chrome. You know, looking at them, there's a little tiny, tiny bit of age to them, but I don't think they've been re-chromed. I think it is the original chrome bumpers that came with the car. Of course, the exhausts go out through the bumpers. That's just the way they were. Uh, aluminum uh, basils around the uh, tail lights, which are still very nice condition. Very nice. They're not uh, cloudy or milky in any way. Nice as can possibly be. Fitment of the bumper is as perfect as you could ever hope to get something in 1957. It's great fitment. It's very nice laterally. Um, and in relation to the body, it, it, there's no deviation whatsoever. It has the same fitment on one side as the other. Very nice fit, the bumper. Okay, going down our passenger side of the vehicle, where there's usually a lot of deviation is around the uh, uh, filler door for the gas. And this thing is very, very nice. A little tiny bit of an overhang, but nothing to really speak of. 
Same thing, no marks on the uh, wheel lip molding. Quarter panel of paint. I still haven't found any chips or marks or dings or anything in this vehicle. Not a single one so far. I did neglect to mention on the other side, the uh, whiskers, wipes, whatever you want to call them, are like new and they are the same as on this side. You know, they, they just very, very, very nice. Door handle on this side, same as the other one. Probably original and not messed up at all. I mean, the chrome is very nice. And you can see the door fitment on this side is the same as it was on the other side. Again, the uh, wing deviation uh, for the uh, air. Mirror on this side, it's got to have a right hand mirror, just as nice as can possibly be. Door to the front fender, I'll tell you, this is amazing for a 57 vehicle fitting this well. It's just totally amazing. Trim around the window, same as on the other side, no dents, no marks, no, nope, nothing, absolutely nothing. No pits or anything around the uh, uh, vent louvers. Paint on the front fender, the same as it is on the rest of this car. As nice as you'd ever want to find one. All original tin, the fender lips feel really, really nice on the car. Uh, I don't see any, uh, any marks, any dents, any deviations, any imperfections in the paint that wouldn't be waxed out. Uh, great interior in the car, which we'll get into in another little video here. It's a 57 Thunderbird one of the most iconic cars that was ever produced, especially in the 50s. Everybody loved the you know, five through seven, eight Corvettes and 55, six and seven Thunderbirds, 57 being the most desirable in the T-Bird line. This is what that car represents. And it's a great color combination, red, white convertible top, which is brand new by the way. Um, the fitment, the finish, Everything about this car is, is absolutely fantastic. Going to make somebody a really great summer play toy at a very, very reasonable price here at Hangster's Daytona Beach, Florida. Well, who wouldn't feel at home in this 1957 Ford Thunderbird? No cracks in the steering wheel. Horn ring nice and clean as can possibly be. All the gauges in this vehicle work. They're all nice and clean and clear. The padded dash is original and as nice as can possibly be. All the software, the chrome around the uh, windows, the, the front windshield is just as nice and clean as can be. No pits anywhere in it, absolutely none. Power windows, power seat, power steering, automatic transmission. I don't know how much better it can get than this. It has an original interior in it. It, it appears to be original. I don't think it's been redone. It appears to be original on the vinyl seat and the door panels, which I know are original, and the dash, which is also original. This is as good as it gets for a 1957 Thunderbird. You got a great color combination, red and white. Everything fits well. It drives well. Just an absolute fantastic, fantastic representation of a 57 Thunderbird feels like home in here. Okay, we're underneath the hood of our 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Very iconic car. Everyone loves 57, 55 and 56 actually Ford Thunderbirds, but the 57 being the most preferential year. This particular car has a lot of originality underneath the hood. Original valve pan covers still in original great condition. No oxidation. No uh, deterioration or oxidation or rust on the exhaust manifolds themselves either. Uh, the motor's been pulled and freshened up. All the internals done. Does have a new vacuum advance on the uh, distributor itself. It has a Holley carburetor, which is an upgrade from the old Autolite uh, throat feed uh, carburetor that these came with. This is much more efficient and a horsepower gain also in this particular vehicle. Original radiator in the vehicle, original shroud, original fan, um, new battery, suspension is nice and clean. This car does have power steering, which is a nice benefit to a 1957 T-Bird. A lot nicer to steer that way. Great original looking engine compartment, just fantastic condition. Makes somebody a really, really nice toy. Hi, we're underneath our 1957 Thunderbird Roadster, one of the most desirable, iconic cars of the 50s and 60s. Everybody loves the 57 Bird. Everybody. These cars are just really over-engineered. They have a 
full perimeter frame plus a full box frame plus 3 8 inch plate steel X bracing through the center of them. Ford made these cars so strong no matter what this frame was not going to flex on. It was just not going to. Just totally over engineered structurally. Drum brakes in the front, they didn't even know what discs were back then. Uh, all original underneath this car. Springs are original, shocks I'm sure have been replaced through the years, uh, but they don't look to be brand new at this point. There's no leakage whatsoever on the power steering. You can see the 312 V8 engine is fresh, painted, no leaks. No leaks on the bell housing, no leaks on the Ford transmission. The undercarriage of this car, the floor pans and the uh, rocker panels still retain uh, all of their real heavy sound deadener uh, splatter insulation type uh, material that they used in the 50s and 60s on these cars. All the manufacturers used that. It was like a thick fibrous uh, material that uh, helped uh, deaden the sound underneath the car so it wasn't exposed to tint. That's still retained on this vehicle throughout. I see it in the front, I see it along the sides of the frame, the floor pans, the rocker panels, structural supports going over from the uh, uh, floor pans to the rocker panels. These cars were just over-engineered structurally because of it being a convertible. Halfway through the car, and I don't see anything at all that I can uh, have an issue with. Not one single thing. No leaks, no marks on the uh, floor pans, no marks on this frame. I don't even know how you dent this frame. Um, it's just a fantastic car halfway through the vehicle. Let's see if we can find something on the second half. Okay, second half of our 57 T-Bird. Appears to be about two inch uh, primary pipes coming off the stock cast iron exhaust manifolds with this vehicle going into two uh, Flow Pro mufflers. Tailpipes are also new. They're a little bit smaller. They look maybe inch and three quarters for the tailpipes. Uh, this little 312 didn't need any more than that. Multi-leaf rear springs. Functional parking brake, U-joints appear to be all fresh out of the uh, transmission. Heavy duty 9 inch Ford rear came in these vehicles, very heavy duty, same rear as they used in the 427 cars. Heavy duty drum brakes in the rear to match the ones in the front. The frame going up over the uh, rear differential is just as nice and fresh looking as could possibly be. Gas tank has no dents or marks in it whatsoever. It is the original gas tank with the original drain plug in it yet. A couple little tiny marks in the um, sound deadener, not the material, not the uh, 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 tin itself in the uh, spare tire well, but just kind of marked a little bit on the uh, sound deadener material that's there. Drop downs in the quarters from the original quarter panels are still just the way they were when they left the factory. Pinch wells are still intact. Uh, rear structure across the uh, uh, rear of the, the car, the frame tying the two uh, box channels together, which is also a box channel in the back. Um, no marks or dents or jack marks on it either. This car is as new underneath as you could possibly, possibly find a 57 Thunderbird. I really don't see anything. Um, a little uh, wear on some of the sound deadener here and there. Uh, original equipment type shocks in the back, original fuel lines. This car is the original 57 Bird as you can find. Really good representation of a nice Roadster in a great color combination, red and white. And it's available here at Hangster for you to have a ton of fun with.